What's happening people? I'm out and about again and today I'm back in Huddersfield again. This behind me here is Huddersfield Market. Now it is Sunday at the time of filming so it's not actually open. I was hoping for a little wander around it, see if we could pick up any bargains or see what it's like. I'll try to do a little market tour another day for you guys on the channel. Now if you watched my video earlier this week you will know that I have just been, well I've been if you watched my video earlier this week, you will know that I went to a pub in Halifax called the Percy Shaw, which was named after the guy who invented the cat's eyes on the motorway. Now, I didn't have a great experience, and this has been filmed on the same day. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that video before you watch this one. But make sure you come back because I'm going to their sister pub for Sunday dinner. Now, the reason I'm filming it in the same day is, well, for two reasons. One, I had a, my breakfast was a bit bit poor and um, maybe I didn't eat it all but yeah if you haven't watched the video like I said go back and watch it if you have watched the video you'll know why and two I need to get here before that that video comes out just in case I get barred from here now this should be good because my old man my dad my father said that this is the best Sunday roast in town when he says town he means Huddersfield but the best Sunday roast in town so I thought I've got to take this opportunity and get there while I can now I hope that it's better than its sister pub. This is a proper, proper old school boozer. It's called The Vulcan. It's in Huddersfield Town Centre and it is a proper old school bo boozer. Nothing like the um, nothing like the, the cat's eyes place, the Percy Shaw. That's all modern and um, yeah, it's not, it's not a proper old school boozer. I'm probably going to end up sitting this with this dinner on my knee or something. It is a real proper old school boozer. So I'm looking forward to it. I have been in for a beer before with my dad. So I know they do a decent pint of Guinness. So I'm going to treat myself to a pint of Guinness and a Sunday lunch. So this is Huddersfield Open Market, like I said, but it's closed at the moment. But it's just to the, to the end of the market, turn left and it's there. Out of the town centre hustle and bustle. So... Let's get down there, give you guys a little look at our Sunday lunch. Look at this place, fish and chips, £5.50, small fish and chips. Everyday special, four fish and chips, 19 Get these, pass these by. Decent prices there, aren't they? I know what I'm doing now, when I do my market tour, I'm going for fish and chips there. Right, down to the Vulcan. Come on, let's go. Right, I'm not sure what the sound's like because the music is very loud, it's very busy. There's hardly a table to be had, so it must be popular. So I just ordered myself a, a little Guinness to start the day. See all the Huddersfield Town stuff behind me. I think it's their, their home pub before the games on a match day. Which is surprising my dad likes it in here because he's a Leeds fan. Anyway, let's launch here, we'll have a pint first. Failed. I failed on the old split in a G, but it's a good pint of Guinness now. Very, very loud music. I'm literally shouting. I'm not sure how it's going to come out on my mic. But there is a single table outside, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to order my Sunday dinner and I'm going to go eat it outside because it's not a bad day. And it's, it's just not going to be... Otherwise, I'm going to have to do a, like a voiceover on it, of this. And I don't really want to do that. It's twice the work. Thank you. 
Who thinks I should do uh, days out on the beer vlogs? <laughs> That'd get interesting. Might go downhill very quick, but... Right, I'm going to go see if I'm allowed to eat my Sunday lunch outside. There's no actual menu on the tables. Just a sign on the outside of the front door that says Sunday row, 6 95 Unbelievable value. So I'm going to see if I can eat it outside, see if they're allowing that. I don't see why not. Um, so we'll see. And if not, then this one might just turn into a little uh, Sunday afternoon vlog from me to you. Cheers. Well, taking a bit of a different turn this uh, this vlog because couldn't get in there to eat. You have to book, and a football team just rocked up in there, so they had the sausage and chips out on um, on pool table. Proper decent boozer though. So I've decided to change this vlog at the last minute. And what I'm doing? I'm gonna go on the beer. So I'm gonna go and take you to some pubs in Huddersfield now and do a little pub tour of Huddersfield Town Centre. Obviously, we've just been to the Vulcan down there. Put my mic on. Already had too much to drink. It's a lovely day. So I'm going to go to as many old-fashioned pubs as I can um, without falling over and breaking my new camera. And have a little wonder. I did try to get my old man out, but he went out last night, so he's not out. So, on to the next pub, eh? I don't know where I'm going, but I'll see you when we're outside. So you've got, I'm not sure how to say that, Halloween karaoke music club. It looks like it's closed down, but it used to be a a great, oh no, it's this one, Boy and Barrel. I've been in Boy and Barrel before. This, they do karaoke as well. It's a decent night in there. There you go, Wednesday, Sunday, DJ way. And if old time, old timers from Huddersfield remember down here, this place used to be a nightclub called Johnny's. Now, showing my age here. Don't worry, you're not on it. Don't worry, it's facing me. Um, Down there, was Johnny's nightclub famous in Huddersfield? It's uh, well, I'll let you guys from Huddersfield put in the comments Johnny's your memories of Johnny's nightclub. It's up there with the Acker in Halifax, which is the oldest nightclub in the UK. It's still going, Johnny's has closed down. So let's get in the boy and barrel and get yourself a pint. I am going in and have a drink. I'm doing a tour. Are you coming? <laughs> Hello, how are you? Am I the only person in? Uh, you're on the oh yeah, they, I've got my little. Uh, I've got. I'm doing a little pub tour. All right. So I've got a little camera, and they were like, "That's really." Oh, oh really? <laughs> do you do Guinness? Uh, we do, yeah. Can I have a pint of Guinness, please? Yeah. That's a, it's a little bit cold. Temperature's got to be right on a Guinness. Um, it's not as good as the Vulcan, but it's still okay. Quiet in here though. Just me in here now. Two two ladies outside who were scared the cameras on them. Um, they came in, but I think they've gone because of me. <laughs> Just Dino scaring off all the customers. Eh? Cheers.
Cheers, my dear. Thank you. See you later. Okay, that was the Boy and Barrel in Huddersfield Centre. Where to next? Mrs. D I've just been on the phone to Mrs. Dino and she's got an idea. She told me to go up to the Crown by the uh, by the bus station because it is a mixer pub. Now, I'll tell you more about that when we're in there. But that's where we're going to go now. We're going to go up to the Crown. Change of plan. I found another proper old school boozer on the way up. The White Swan. What a name that is. A proper good British boozer. So I'm going to go in there, get myself another Guinness, and then we'll head up to the Crown. It's a decent point. Cheers. It's launcher. Terrible effort, Dino. Terrible effort. Cheers, mate. Thank you. See you later. Decent bows are that. Proper old school. What's it called? White horse? White swan. White swan. Not white horse. White horse is in Halifax. White swan. Right. This time we are going to the crown. So... I need your help with this one because this one is a mixer pub. Now, if you don't know what a mixer pub is, you get like, you get an app, you collect points every time you go in for food or drink. Uh, and I'm going to tell you something now which are going to get you two free drinks. So let's get up there, get a beer, and you guys can get two free drinks. And you can also get Dino a drink while you're at it. Let me tell you more. Crown, another Guinness. Now this one is 
the mixer pump, which you get your phones down right now, and you download the mixer app, and you use my code, just email. This is not a sponsored video. Anyone can do this. You can, uh, you can do this yourself, like within your, between yourselves. Use my code. You refer a friend, and you get a five pound cash voucher. This Guinness was four pound and five pence. So I have got ten thousand friends. All my friends, right? So if you use my code there, I'll put it in the description as well. And you sign up, you get a five pound voucher, and I get a five pound voucher for mixer pubs. Now that will help me massively with food reviews. I do food here. Phones, all different venues all over, all over really. I went out in Leeds of the week and there was loads and loads of mixer venues. Probably could get a free night out with it. Um, imagine if I got fifty thousand pounds worth of mixer. If it's all ten thousand of you sign up for the mixer app and use my code, I'll get ten thousand five pound vouchers, fifty grand, fifty grand worth of uh, mixer vouchers. Cheers to you all. But if you like these uh, pub crawl vlogs, this will really help me out because it'll keep it cheap. The next pub crawl vlog after this one could be a totally free pub crawl because of you guys. So help me out, sign up for the Mixer app. You also get a free drink just for signing up. But if you use my code, you'll also get a five pound voucher as well. So you'll get, you guys will get two, two free drinks and I'll get a pound as well. So thank you everybody who does sign up. The link will be in the description. Um, the code will be in the description. I'll put the link for the mixer app as well with the code. When it says share code, it gives me a yeah. I'll put the link in the description. Obviously I'm a few pints deep, so if I'm at the moment, so but yeah, if you like this sort of content, I don't mind making it. I live a day out. I'll get Mrs. Dean out if there's enough if there's enough codes to take Mrs. Dean out. Get her out. Right. So on, Jay. Yeah. The crown, this is a Huddersfield. Food as well. Should I get some food? I've got a drinks menu, so. <laughs> they do do food. But I'm too far gone for them. But cheers. I'll tell you what. This menu looks good. Maybe I should come here and do a food review. I could I probably could do about ten in here. Maybe it's just because I've had a few beers, but I'll tell you what, some of this stuff looks unbelievable. And it says there, free drink with any light bite or burger. See overleaf for detail. All our light bites and burgers come with a selected soft drink or upgrade to an alcoholic drink. So you can get a free soft drink with all the light bites and burgers. Do you know what? Have a look at this menu. This is the Crown in Huddersfield. And if you if you want me to come back and do a food review here, let me know and I will. Oh. Look at that, chip shop platter. Your favourite fish and chips served with battered sausage, chip shop curry sauce, tartar sauce, peas and bread and butter. £9.98. Under a tenner, fish and chips, battered sausage, peas, tartar sauce, bread and butter. Oh, you add curry sauce to that and it's got the full works. Right, anyway, I've had too much to drink to be thinking about food. Cheers. Proper British booze are this. Good one. Table, table in front of me. Yeah. The conversation is, I don't know if I'm, my camera will pick it up, but 
the conversation is so funny. They're like, no one goes out anymore, and they're like, young ones can't afford, can't afford to even pay four pound a pint. And like, remember in my day when it was one pound twenty a pint, and they're all drinking smooth. <laughs> Same as my dad drinks, that's why I know it's smooth. Um, yeah, it's uh, or Tetley's, a uh, bitter. Four pound five pence this this one. I'm a little bit worried this guy on the other table here is following me. It's the second pub I've been right across from me. Do you remember that scary guy from Home Alone? With the big white beard? That's what it looks like. Apart from he's got hair. Anyway. If you're seeing this video, it means I survived. Let's see if we're going to even drop on this uh, table of old, old fellas' conversation again. Cheers, my dear. Okay, so I've just come out the back door after going for a wee. Uh, this is the beer garden at the Crown. And straight across the way is another fantastic old style pub, the Old Hat. Look at that. So that's where we're heading. The bus station is just there. So I'll be able to get home shortly. <laughs> but I might go to a couple more after the Old Hat. But first, first things first. The old hat, come on, let's go. Okay, this is the old hat. It's the cheapest so far at £3.60, however, it's not a Guinness glass. It's uh, it was very bubbly, which means it's gassy, so it's probably not going to be the best, but we'll give it a go. So, aren't you? It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've had a few. But you don't see the bubbles in the top, which is a good sign. But I just, it looked like it was going to be a bad point, but it's not too bad. <laughs> Okay. Keep going. Can I get to you? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Cheers. See you later. Well, decent boozer. Bus station's here. Should I call it a night? Or should we have one more? If I say a night, I mean a day because it's like uh, 4 pm. <laughs> but I only came out for Sunday dinner. I 
think, according to my old man, there's a decent boozer just by this bus station as well. So maybe I have one more pint. What do you think, Mrs. Dino? What do you think? She'll be like, come on, get home, get home, you silly drunken fool. Right. I think by the bus station entrance here, the, the back entrance of the bus station, the pub is just to the left and it's called the Plum's Arms. And it's decent on a uh, on a summer's afternoon, which is like this. Although it's not that uh, it's not that warm. But if the sun is out, but it's still cold, typical England. But they've got a nice little outside seating area. Should get a nice pint. One more for the road and then we'll hit the bus station and go home. So just down here and to the left. Okay, so this is the most expensive pint of the afternoon. However, it does look like the best. With a Guinness, I'm not sure about other beers because I'm not no beer connoisseur. But with a Guinness, you want that stick on the side of the um, on the side of the glass when you've drunk it. So, and this one looks like a good one. Oh yes, it is a good one. Four pounds sixty that cost. That's the most expensive pint in the afternoon, which is not a bad afternoon out, really, is it? I think most of them have been about three ninety to three ninety five, if I can remember correctly. I am a few Guinnesses in, but yeah, a few decent little bars. Now I ain't even scratched the surface of Huddersfield Town Centre, really, but. I try to keep them more traditional bars. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this video. I've enjoyed making it, however, I'm a bit hungry because I didn't get my Sunday lunch. But what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to go back home, get a Chinese, take it to the girls. So thank you for watching this video. Unless I do one more pub. Just to hear you breathing. Or should I go to karaoke? There's another bar in Huddersfield called The Queen's, which is like a decent, proper old school pub, but it's got karaoke on. You want to hear me sing? Maybe. Cheers, see you later. Maybe he's doing it well. Okay. That is the end of this vlog. Because Dino is drunk.
it's time to go home. So I'm going to go grab a Chinese for the girls. I'm under strict instructions from Mrs. Dino. I've got to get the bus home because walking is too far, apparently, after five or six pints. So I'm going to the bus station here. Get the bus home. And then I'm getting a Chinese. So, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, give it a like. I'm very drunk. I apologise if I'm slurring. I'm sure future Dino will be able to edit it so that this sounds great. <laughs> and I'll catch you on the next one. Probably back in kitchen or... Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to Whitby tomorrow. I'm not sure if I was supposed to reveal that. Anyway, bye-bye from Huddersfield. How do I spin this camera around? Oh. <laughs> I think the next drunken vlog, Mrs. Dino should be in it. Let's go get pissed together. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Did somebody say just... Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again.